Hello everyone and welcome back to Crafting with Janine. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make these really cute full corker puff bows. Um, for this one here I used um, 30 pieces of 3 inches and this one here I used about 26 pieces of 2 inches and I really like this one. The uh, smaller one measures roughly about 2.5 to 3 inches big and then the bigger one's roughly about three and a half to four inches big. But I like this one. So I'm going to show you how I do this one today. And then you, and I'll put the measurements for both in the <coughs> description below. Excuse me. So we're going to go ahead and get started. So I've already got my pieces cut. And... What I do to make my corkers, I'm not sure what everybody does, but I have my dowel rods and my clothespins, and then I wrap them around the dowel rods to get the loops, and I put them in the oven at 250 for about 20 minutes, and they seem to come out perfect for me. There is a little trick that if you really, if you don't need a whole lot done, and you want to do it, you can use um, a hair straightener, which it takes a few minutes to do it that way, but you don't have to go pop them in the oven real quick, is I'll just wrap them around the dowel like I normally do, and then I'll just take my hair straightener and run it across and hold it there, or you can even use a blow dryer, and that works too. It just takes a few minutes for one, but if you only need to make one, like you're short a few corkers or something, that works in a pinch. But to do a lot of them, the oven is the best way to go. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Where did I put it? There it is. So I have my needle. I'm going to go thread my needle. So, but yeah, these are really cute. They are kind of, if you take all the time involved, they are a little bit time consuming, but... You can always go ahead and make your, your corkers ahead of time, wrap your dowels, all that other stuff. So. Just not in my needle here. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to alternate them. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to find the middle. And I'm just going to start loading them on my needle here. Right about the middle of my corker here. And just, since I've got two colors here, I'm just alternating the colors. Um, you can do it with one color, you can do it with multiple colors, you can do a whole bunch. <clears throat> it's really up to you, there is no like specific way to do them. I just kind of start just stacking them around. Like so, and onto my needle, like this, right about the middle of each one. As we go along and if it starts to get full like my needles getting full I just send them on down to my knot and just kind of leave them sitting there and then start stacking again because it doesn't really matter you can even send them down one at a time like this <coughs> see I just don't like that so much because you get your your thread wrapped around your your corkers here so just start just keep stacking them till you got your 26 if you want a little bit fuller you can add more if you don't want it as full you can add less you can always make them bigger you can make a smaller I wouldn't say going too much smaller than these. I've tried a smaller one and really did not like the way it came out. 
that was just me. You can always try it, but I didn't like it, so... So we go, just like so. I'm gonna hold it up so it doesn't get all tangled on me like it already has right here. We're getting tangled. There we go. So just like so. And then just gonna send it on down the end. And then what I'm gonna do here is now that I've got all my little corkers on there, I'm just gonna grab it and kind of find the middle. And I'm going to take it, and I'm going to run a stitch right through the center here, just like that. And I'm going to fluff, which, like so, which gets me that. And then make sure I'm happy with its look. And then I'm just going to kind of tie it off right here, where I, where I set it through. I'm just going to tie off real quick right here in the middle. Oh, the corkers are eating my ribbon, or my thread. Just boom, like so. And then give it a little snip. And from this part, you can go any route you want with them. You can put them in the middle of your Twisted Boutique bow. You can make a, a piggy set with just them. Just put a clip on there. You can put them in the center of a flower. You can really do anything you want with them from this point. It just kind of is that. And I like these the best. I like it this way because it makes it a nice full. Now, I know that there are some that will tie them. But I've tried it that route and don't love it that route. I can't ever keep my corkers like in the spot I want them to be in. So this way, threading it on the needle and then just putting it through will give me the nice full propped up corkers like so. So there's that one. It was a pretty quick and easy one. And... Once again, here's the bigger one. You can see the difference in the sizes. I like the smaller ones than the bigger ones. But, um, so, that's that. Um, and please, if you like the video, hit the thumbs up. Let me know how I'm doing uh, in the comments below. And please, please, please subscribe. And if you're wanting to connect and get in with our little community that we have going on here for Crafting with Janine... My page is Crafting with Janine on Facebook, and I put all my videos up there. I'll post some pictures of finished bows that I've done for some of my videos, maybe some a video I might be wanting to make, and all of that. So please definitely come by, like the page, and subscribe, and you guys have a happy day crafting.